Okay, in this video, I want to talk about Zatsev's rule. And Zatsev's rule predicts that um, in elimination reactions, the most substituted product will be the one that is favored, the one that will be our major product. So the most substituted, so let me write that down. Most substituted. The most substituted alkene we can have is a tetra substituted. So tetra sub. And that looks like something like this, where we have a double bond, where we have four R groups, which would look something like this. One, two, three, four R groups. Obviously the next one would be uh, tri-substituted, so tri-sub. And we would have something with two R groups and then another R group, and then just a hydrogen. So you could imagine a molecule that looks something like this. We could have a hexane ring like this, where we have one, two, notice we need three, so we have a methyl group branching off one side. Now we have a tri-substituted because this carbon right here has a hydrogen, so this would be tri-substituted. Oh, let me fix that. Let me go back here there we go the next one would be dye substituted but this gets a little bit tricky there are three different types of dye substituted products we can form one being trans where we have our R groups on opposite sides so we have hydrogens here we can have a cis alkene where we have R groups on the same side or we can have a one-to-one -one dye substituted with both R groups on the left or right sides. So these are dye substituted right here. These are dye substituted uh, products. And it turns out that stability increases going to the left. So stability increases. So trans is the most stable. Then it'd be cis, and then lastly it would be one to one dye substituted. Like these are all dye substituted. So this is your number one stable product using Zatsev's rules, tetra, then tri. And then finally we have our dye substituted, but our very least stable, the the most terrible product we could form would be something where we only have one R group. So hydrogen 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 so we only have one R group and this would be mono substituted mono sub and so this is tetra substituted your most stable then it'd be tri then it'd be trans then cis then one one and then finally mono so this is your worst or your least stable all right least stable okay let's do a problem Okay, let's start off with something quite basic from using Zatsev's rule. So if I gave you these compounds right here. Which one would be the most sub... Uh, the, <laughs> I just gave away the answer, but which one would be the most stable? So which is the most stable that would be the most substituted product this one only has one two R groups and they're both going like this so this would be cis cis di sub this product right here has one two three so this is tri sub and this one has one, two, three, four. So would that be tetra sub? So which one is the most stable? The one that has the most substituents. So that'd be tetra substituted. So I'll give that number one for most stable. This is number two for being in the middle. And this is our least stable product, number three. So least stable. And this would be most stable okay let's do one more example 
Okay, let's look at this last problem here. We have one, two, three, three different alkenes that all have four carbons. Now, which one is the most stable using Zotsev's rule? So, Zotsev's rule. Which means we are looking for the most substituted. Okay, so this one right here, we see we have two hydrogens branching off of it, off this carbon. And we only have one substituent, which is this ethyl group. This whole thing right here is our substituent, that's our ethyl group. So this would be a mono substituted, so mono sub, because we only have one substituent branching off of this carbon. This carbon does not have any substituents, it only has these two hydrogens. So let's look at this one. We have one, two substituents, each going in opposite directions. So this is trans, and trans is di substituted, so di sub. This one has both R groups, or both substituents going in the same direction, so this would be cis. This is also di sub. So obviously one of these is going to be the more stable one, and which one is that? Well, from using Zotsev's rule, we would find out that trans is the more stable one. So this is the most stable product, number one. Most stable. So obviously this one will be more stable than mono because mono only has one substituent. So this would be number two. And then finally, this is number three for least stable. I hope this video helped you out and that does it for this and thank you for watching.